Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this this might actually be just tacked on to the end of episode two, just depending on how long it takes to go over this. Um, it probably won't take too long, but in this little uh, section, I want to talk a little just uh, briefly about. Um, uploading videos to YouTube, how I set up kind of the title cards, my description, tags, um, and also just kind of how I manage my, my video releases um, and stuff like that. So first, before we get started, I want to just talk about, um, or as we get started, I, I want to talk quickly about uh, how I manage my releases. And I'm, I basically just use an Excel document. You can kind of see here, um, you know, I kind of started this Excel document back in 914 of 2020. Um, and I've been doing it ever since. And it's been really helpful, especially since I have multiple kind of videos and, and I'm ahead on some of my recordings. So like our Gloomhaven episode, you can see, uh, you know, today's date is the 17th. Um, so uh, we're here. We are one, two, three, three weeks ahead on on uh, on editing basically but we are you know another month ahead on our gloomhaven episodes and i'm a month ahead on my kingdom death episodes so so it's it's hard to keep straight like what where what has been recorded, what has been edited, what has been rendered, what has been uploaded, and what is ready to go. So I, I created this Excel document, and it's been really helpful. Uh, basically, what happens is I'll I'll play a game and record it. Once that's recorded, um, I'll add that episode number to kind of the next week's schedule, and I'll put an X here showing that it's been recorded. And then from there, when I when I start editing it, like I'm uh, currently editing episode 60 of Gloomhaven. I'll put a little progress marker in there. Once that's done, then I'll, I'll put an X here and I'll put a start on the render. So that reminds me that, you know, when I get some free time on the computer where I'm not doing anything, I can render, render the video. Uh, once it's rendered, then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put this, a start a little, uh, tag on the upload and then a progress tag on the upload. And at night, before I go to bed, I just chuck it onto YouTube and let it upload. Then once it's done, um, I'll, I'll put an X on the upload. And then once I've updated all the titles, set, set the schedule to release and all that, then I'll just highlight it green. So that means it's ready to go. I shouldn't have to touch it. It'll just release when, it, when it, I schedule it on YouTube and everything's good. So, uh, so as, cause as you can tell, it's kind of all over the place, right? So here's our posting schedule. So these have been, these videos have been posted. My last Warhammer video is going to get posted tomorrow. Um, and then, uh, you know, then these episodes here. So the, the uh, episode one of, of this series is actually getting posted next week. So I'll, I'll put an X on that when it gets posted. And it's kind of easy to keep along. But yeah, you can tell, you know, like I'm ready to render Descent into Avernus episode 19. I'm ready to render my KDM episode five. I'm working on editing um, my Gloomhaven episode. And so everything's kind of all over the place. So it just helps for me anyways, to, to kind of, you know, keep everything straight about where I am, how far ahead I am in, in editing. And so I'm actually doing really good. Usually, usually I'm like uh, a week or so ahead as far as editing goes, but, um, I've, I've had a lot of extra time that I've spent on, on editing. And again, you know, as you saw, editing takes the longest amount of time and it's, it's a lot less fun than playing the game. Um, so, it, so it just takes a long time. I, I would love to release videos more often. You know, I'd like to release my KDM series once a week and my Etherfield series once a week, but I I just can't, I can't keep up with the editing. It would, I would get behind really quickly. So, so for now, uh, this is, this seems like a good schedule. My descent into Avernus series, it takes very little time to edit. I basically, you know, chuck an overlay on it, edit out just a couple pieces here and there and, and it's good to go. So that's what's nice about the descent into Avernus series is it's real quick editing. So, so that's that. Um, so uh, a little bit, uh, I've already uploaded a video. So we, in the previous episode or this episode, we episode, we edited episode 38. I forgot to record it when I did all the setup for episode, um, episode 58. So we're doing it for episode 59. So last night I clicked on create, I clicked on upload videos. I drug the file in there and I basically took 
all the defaults. So there's the, it basically has just the video name and that's it. Um, so it uploaded last night and it's ready to go. So uh, what I normally do is I'll take the previous episode. So this is 58. I'll open it in a new tab and then I'll open this one. Okay. And then I'll just copy paste 5939 5939 39 okay so it just keeps the same format you know like you know it's it's annoying my it, my OCD go goes crazy if I'm like Gloomhaven playthrough Gloomhaven gameplay Gloomhaven space space gameplay or the dashes are incorrect so I just copy and paste to help um, and then I change the scenario in the description and I believe yeah, nobody's retired, so we're still using Circle, Squid Face, and Two Minis. Um, I'm giving credit to Tabletop Audio for their awesome music that's completely free that that you're allowed to use, which is just amazing. I give the that wood border that I talked about um, credit uh, for PNG Tree, and then I mentioned my Twitter account, which I'm horrible about updating and I need to do a better job of. So, so there's that. Um, then we need to upload a thumbnail, but we need to create that thumbnail first. So I basically have a template that I use that I set up. Um, it's just a paint file again, and I've got a bunch of layers with all the different, you know, the background, the, the side part, all that good stuff. So I can edit if I need to, but the top layer is just the episode. So I like to just do Coleco. I think it's 72. So we'll just, we'll write it up here though. Episode, yeah, way too big. Uh, what are we doing? Episode 59, scenario 39. 59, scenario 39. And we're not 72. We are 48. Yep. Okay. And I like to write it kind of on the tops just to remind me about spacing and get the format correct. And then what I do is I just highlight this, delete it this cut and paste and then get it centered perfect then I just save it as and then I save it as a JPEG episode 59 boom all right cool so our our uh, our title card is ready so now we just upload uh, episode 59 Boom, done, easy as that. Uh, I also like to set up playlists in my YouTube, uh, on my YouTube channel. Let me show you, um, let's do this. It just makes it really nice for uh, new people coming in that like they can click on this, this episode, uh, you know, this playlist and they can, they can watch every single one of my Gloomhaven playthrough videos all in a row. Um, so yeah, so I, I just, I like to add those, uh, playlists in there, make it nice and organized. My OCD goes crazy with that. So, um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, then, so that's done. So I add it to the Gloomhaven playlist. Then I don't know if this is necessary. Um, if you click on show more, there's these tags and I've been putting tags like Gloomhaven gameplay, playthrough board games. And now it says tags are can be useful if content in your video is commonly misspelled. Otherwise, tag play a minimal role in helping viewers find your video. I don't know why, maybe I'm old school, but I always add tags anyways, just to help. So, you know, if somebody's gonna say Gloomhaven gameplay, Gloom Gloomhaven playthrough, Gloomhaven playthrough spelled differently, Gloomhaven board game. So like, I, I just like to add those tags. I, I think in my mind it helps, but maybe not. Uh, cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And then while that's saving, uh, we'll go to the previous episode. So this is episode 58, and we want to add an end screen. And I've got one set up here. And remember how we we had this you know blank space that we added to the end of the video. So here's where here's where our our um, ads ads for a, quote, lack of a better term uh, get added to our to our videos so we want to so I've just got one set up where we can subscribe I've got a playlist and then the next episode so I'm gonna put uh, episode 59. 59 there we go so 59 for the next episode so it'll just it'll do a random one if 
if the video is unlisted. So it'll just do random, and then when episode 59 actually comes out, if somebody's watching 58, it will it will link them to the next one if they want to. And then the right side is just a random playlist. Um, so I usually like to um, think about what what people would like. So I, you know, maybe, maybe if, since it's a Gloomhaven video, we'll link our Jaws of the Lion uh, playthrough with that. So cool. That's it. So that part's done. Uh, so now we need to go back to our current uh, episode and we want to schedule it for release. So we'll schedule it. Uh, let's look at episode 59. So we want that one to come out 712. So that's a Monday, right? Which is when I always release my Gloomhaven stuff. 7.12. And I do 12 a.m. local time, so my UK peeps can can watch it when they get up in the morning and save it. And then that's basically it. So now, now we're here. So we can refresh our channel content, and we'll see it there, scheduled for July 12th, which is a Monday. And it's good to go. The tile card looks great. My, uh, you know, all of the descriptions in there, it's correct. Everything looks good and, and that's it. So, um, yay. So that's basically all of uploading stuff and getting it ready for YouTube. You know, I wanted to show you just a little bit about the, just the YouTube channels in general. You know, you've got your dashboard. I've got 248 subscribers now, right now, which is great. Um, you know, latest comments. Uh, then the next tab is your contents. So what's scheduled for release, what's already released, views and comments. You got all your playlists that you've built, uh, analytics. You know, don't look too closely at them because they are depressing. I got to tell you. So, I mean, this looks pretty good, right? I mean, there's, there's people watching my YouTube channel, you know, a couple of views here and there, basically all day and all night, which that's pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. But if you go into, let's go back to content and you go into a video, let's do, let's do our Gloomhaven video. Cause that's our, our uh, KDM video. Cause that's probably going to be a little bit nicer to us. But, um, so I had 40 more, 44 viewers. Watch time is 8.1 hours total. So let's look at engagement. This is the depressing part. Average view duration, 11 minutes. So the average person watched my video, my hour and 40 minute video for 11 minutes. So that's, that's kind of, that's where you're like, Oh man, ouchie. And especially, um, you know, if you're, if you're looking at some other stuff, let me find one that's been out for just a little bit. Let's try this one. Uh, you can you can see the the drop right, and this one's actually pretty good. You know, most people are watching. Fifteen percent of people are watching basically through to the end, but um, sometimes, like my my descent into Avernus episodes, that uh, that that notoriously n nobody watches, which is fine. Like we basically post those just for for our kicks and giggles. We we enjoy it. it you know, they're they're pretty atrocious. 0.9 hours, eight views, 0.9 hours. So the average person watched for six minutes <laughs> of an hour video. So don't look too, too much at those. Um, just enjoy what you're doing and don't worry about it. You know, I'm a really tiny, tiny channel, 248 subscribers. You know, I'm not anywhere close to being monetized. You can see I've got plenty of public washed hours, but I've got to get a thousand subscribers before I'm monetized. And let me tell you guys, it's not much money. I've done a little bit of research and on average, I think you get about two hours for every thousand, um, views. So, so you can see, uh, let's just do analytics over the past 365 days. I've gotten 21,000 views. So let's just do this real quick. 21,744, uh, divided by a thousand. Uh, and then times two, so two dollars per thousand. So that's forty-three dollars for a year's worth of work. I would make forty-three dollars if I if I was monetized right now. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, like it's really hard to make money, and the the amount of inv investment of time and effort I put into it. It's definitely worth a lot more than $50. So, you know, most of the time YouTubers don't do it 
for the money, but really like I do it just because it's fun. It's fun to post your playthrough videos. Like it keeps me honest with my gaming, especially when I'm playing solo. You know, I, I tend to cheat a little bit. If I, if no one's around, I'm like, ah, oh, I didn't, I didn't roll that one. Let me just roll again. Oh, five. That's better. So, uh, so uh, yeah, I really just do it for the enjoyment, but, but that's, that's basically it. So, um, you know, the, that's the YouTube uploading and posting in a nutshell. Um, I don't even know how long this video is. Oh, 19 minutes. So yeah, yeah, it'll probably be a new episode. So, um, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you find this little series helpful on getting started with, with, uh, posting board game videos to YouTube. Um, you know, again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to reach out. Uh, I'm always available, uh, for, to answer questions or post follow up videos. If you want more in depth on something or, or want to see something else. So, uh, thanks again. And, uh, we'll see you next time.